Hello, welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design the simple piece here in FreeCAD, and we'll use these dimensions here. And if you want this drawing, you can download it on the GrabCAD site. Okay, so let's create this model here. So first, here create a new file and add change to part design of bench. Create body and create a new sketch in XY plane. Okay, here in this sketch a rock branch, go to sketch geometry and select this polyline tool. Now click in this horizontal line and again. And now draw this line here, this line and this line and this line here. And now click in this endpoint. So next what we have to do is to select this fillet tool and fillet these two lines oh, sorry select this tool fillet these two lines and now these lines and these two lines and these two lines and next select this mat constraint constraint these two points of this line here to this vertical line now select these two points and this vertical line okay and now escape and select all arcs and make the arcs equal and now select this equal constraint again and select this line here and this line okay so here in this page here we see this dimension we see a radius of 5 for the fillet, so we constrain this radius here to 5. And here we see a horizontal dimension of 80 and 55. So select this horizontal distance tool, select these two points here, and set H. And the dimension for this line here to 55. Okay, and the vertical dimensions here we have 56, and we have this dimension here 32. So here we select this vertical distance tool, select this point, and now this end point, and here will be this formula. The dimension will be 28 millimeters. And the dimension for this line here will be the 2, will be 16. And next we'll create these, these cycles here. Okay, so this cycle uh, have a diameter of 5 millimeters. Okay, so we come back to this model and we select this cycle tool. We draw a cycle in this line here. And two cycles here. And next we select all of the cycles here. And we set equal. And now we constrain the, the diameter of the cycles to 5 millimeters. And now select this merge constraint. Constraint these two points to this vertical line here and now select this trim tool okay and trim this uh, select this trim tool trim this arc here and now this line okay so in this page we see these dimensions here we have six uh, we have 35 and 16.5 So we select this vertical distance tool. We select this point here and this end point. We set 6 Okay, and the center distance here will set 35 and the distance between this point here to this point we set Okay so what to do now okay the vertical dimension 
so the distance between the cycles here we have 40 so here we'll set we select this vertical distance tool and now select the center point and this point here and then and we set 20 millimeters okay and now we select these two lines here this line and this line and we select this horizontal constraint and now this sketch is full constrained so we leave this sketch and go to press on and go to add to and here we see a pair of four millimeters so we change here to four and click ok and we select model and go to we select this pad here and go to this mirrored future and here what to do is to change the plane to x plane so now we can see this now click ok and next select this face here and create new sketch select this tool external geometry and extract these edges and now select the cycle tool and do these three cycles in these center points and now select select all cycles and select this equal constraint and now here we can see a diameter of 8 for the cycle here so we select this constraint here and the cycle and we set 8 millimeters and now close this sketch and go to this pocket tool okay the value for this pocket is 1 millimeters so we change here to this dimension and click ok and now we select this pocket and go to mirror future and here we select this exit plane and then click ok press on and now we create a new sketch this sketch in exit plane ok switch to section view and what we're going to do here is to create a sketch for the space here so we come back to this model and we select this polline tool we draw this sketch in this way now connect these points here now select this external geometry tool and extract this edge here now select these two points and select constant okay and next we will give dimension for this sketch here so in this page we see this dimension we have here 24 40 and 20 so we select this this horizontal distance tool click in this point and this point and set 20 millimeters and here we set and now we select this vertical distance tool select this origin point and now this end point and here set 24 uh, sorry here we set 24 and leave this sketch and now we go to pair tool check this option similar to plane and here in this page we see we see uh, we see a pair of okay guys here we have 10 millimeters we see a pair of 20 millimeters so I click ok and now create a new sketch in X plane again select this external geometry tool and extract the edge of this line here and this edge and now select this cycle tool click in this point draw a cycle draw a cycle in this point here and now click in this point and draw this cycle and select these three cycles and make these cycles equal 
and now in this page we see a diameter of 8 millimeters okay so we come back here and we select this constraint here and we set the diameter here to 8 millimeters and the distance between these two cycles here is 15 so here we select this tool and these two points and we set 15 and now close the sketch and go to pair tool set symmetric to plane and here we see we see a pair of 25 millimeters so here we set 25 and click ok and now we select this face here and go to fillet tool ok here we will set a fillet of 0 0.5 millimeters so we change here to 0 0.5 and next we add these faces and now click ok and next we select this face here and we create a new sketch in this face switch to section view and here select this center rectangle tool and through this rectangle so in this page we see this dimension 10 millimeters for this pocket here okay so what to do here is to select this vertical distance tool click in this link here and set 10 millimeters and now leave this sketch and go to pocket tool and check this option reverse it and now go and set the tab to toggle and click ok and next here to to create these walls here these three walls what to do is to uh, select this face these three faces here and go to this wall tool and here we set triangle and the diameter of these walls here is five millimeters you we, we can see here so we change here to five and click ok so now we have this and next we'll do some chamfers in this part here so we select this edge and go to chamfer tool and if you okay in this page here we see a chamfer of two millimeters so here we change this dimension to two millimeters and now we click in this add button now click ok and as you can see we finish the design of this part here thank you for watching this video thank you